Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth video in the series wherein the mission is to mint our NFT using ERC-721 token standard on the Polygon test network. So in the last video, we deployed our smart contract on Ganache and also wrote some tests. So today it's time to finally deploy our smart contract on the Polygon test network, which we will later use to actually mint our NFT. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I hope you would have saved the mnemonic somewhere that we had generated in the very first video of this series. So that we are going to use now when we are actually deploying our smart contract to the Polygon test network. So first we are going to install .env. So this .env helps us to separate our uh, secrets from the source code. So this mnemonic is something that we need to keep secret and we need not uh, tell this to any other person. So in order to keep it separate, uh, then I'll create a .env file in my project folder once this is install installed. So now this is installed, let's go to our project folder. Now we are in the project folder and in the root directory, I will create a .env file. So in this .env file, I will save my mnemonic. Uh, so you can just write your mnemonic in here and once it is done, the next thing that we need to do is we need to install the HD wallet provider. Let's go back to our terminal and here we will install HD wallet provider. So let me tell you why this is required. So when we deploy our contract, we eventually need to sign the transaction that we are trying to uh, make with an account. So for doing that, we need the private key that will be handled by the mnemonic. Now this account management process is handled by a provider. In this case, the HD wallet provider that we are going to download. So now in order to install it, we need to write the command npm install uh, at the rate truffle slash HD wallet dash provider. So once it's installed, we'll make the necessary modification that we need to do in our truffle config file because if you remember, we need to specify the network in our truffle config file, whatever network we are trying to connect to since now we are trying to connect to the Polygon test network. So we will make the necessary edits in our truffle config file. So let's see what all uh, things we need to make changes in in our triple config file here there is uh, the configuration given for matic and since we are deploying it to our test network so let's copy this configuration of polygon test network from here in the networks so there is a new network that we have i will paste it and instead of matic i will call it polygon test net Similarly, there are configuration available on Polygon uh, website for Polygon mainnet and similarly, you can also copy that if you want to deploy it to the main network. The other things that we need to write here is since I want to get my mnemonic from my .env file, so I will have to write require .env .config and I will uncomment this line which will import my truffle uh, HD wallet provider and I will also uncomment this line and instead of this I will write process.env.mnemonic this mnemonic spelling should be same as what you have given in your uh, .env file Okay, so this is done. Now let's try to uh, deploy our smart contract to the Polygon test network and it is pretty simple. I will go to my terminal and we need to write the command truffle migrate network and whatever network name we have given in this truffle config file, we have to write that network. So here it is Polygon testnet. So I will write Polygon testnet and if everything runs fine, we would be able to see our smart contract on uh, the Polygon test network. So let's wait for it and see if everything is running fine or not. Okay, congratulations. Our smart contract got deployed on the Polygon test network. Now, if, we, uh, if I copy my contract address from here and see what has actually happened on the test net, I can simply copy my smart contract address and search for it 
so here you can see one minute ago i did a transaction and the transaction has hashes this from okay let's me let me open it and uh, show you more clearly okay it was a success it was a transaction hash and the block number to which uh, our transaction got in is this from this account so this is important from which account it got executed so it should be the account that i have in my metamask wallet uh, so it's 0x a and here you can see yes this is the uh, from account we have and the two is the contract address that got created here's the transaction fee everything is mentioned here okay so we are done with this video and one thing that i want you to do is save this contract address in your dot env file because this we will be using later on and why i'm asking to save it to your dot env file is um since it does not get lost somewhere in your code it's better to save it in your dot env file so that we can easily access it when when we'll be trying to mint our nft to this network so that's all for this video in the next video we are going to configure the metadata for our nft using ipfs and we'll actually write the javascript file which is going to mint the nft so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay connected with me on my discord server the link of which is given in the description box down below so see you in the next one.